Inside Temple Basketball is presented by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University. The ideal would be that somebody would play a little bit as a freshman, a little more as a sophomore, start as a junior and a senior. But you don't have the ideal. Ideals seldom ever take shape. Every kid adjusts to college differently, though. Some guys come in and they pick up on what you're doing, and, and they're physically maybe a little bit more ready than another guy might be. Like LaVoy Allen stepped into a situation here at Temple where his team needed him right away, and he played a lot of minutes. We needed somebody with size who could rebound and play defense. That's one of the main things I wanted coming to college was being able to play right away, and this was a perfect opportunity. Coming in Timber, you know, they didn't have an established big man. So with Lavoie coming in, being 6'9 and 240, that position was needed to be filled. He's just one of those special guys who, who just had what it took as a freshman to play major minutes, and he's kept improving every year. It's different for each guy, and each guy develops at a different rate. So Lavoie's progress was a little bit faster than Ramon. Ramon had a, a chance to sit back and evaluate. Fight through it, Mo. Off to the ball, slide through quick, Mo. In Ramon's case, he chose to sit out a year. He redshirted a year so that he could get better academically, get better as a basketball player. You know, my freshman year, I went through a lot of things, a lot of up and downs, and growth as a player and, and everything. So I think I've, I've matured a lot. Improved, got some time off the bench, helped us, and then it was the sixth man of the year last year, and now has become a starter, and he can blossom now into a leader and to one of the all-time top scorers here at Temple. The coaches and, and the players, you know, they took me in and, and welcomed me with open arms and, you know, to help me through the process. Then, Mo, not, then, then my question becomes, did you say, now I got Riley running out here closing and my shot faking and getting the gap and playing five on four is probably the play. Here we go. A lot is paying off. I'm just grateful for the opportunity I have right now to be here. And Scooty along the same lines has put in his time. Scooty has overcome a lot of adversity. He had to pay attention to his detail and his academics work hard in school. He had to earn his spot, and right now his confidence is growing. Coach always say you ain't as good as you are. You always can be better. So I think I didn't really realize it until my sophomore summer. It's good. You looked at him, then you looked away, and he got, all of a sudden he became open on the refeed again. You'd have had Ralier wide open in there, and at least we pounded down inside, let the defense collapse. You know, I took that in, and. I worked hard during the summer. Some guys, it, it takes them a little bit longer to time to adjust and, and, and feel their way through things. This summer, I worked really hard, just focus on my body and getting in better shape. Just focusing on defense and just proving the coach that I, I could play. You know what was pretty good was the defense. Leaf, you found yourself helping out Ralier, and then Ralier went and got yours. I wanted to play. I wanted to help the team. My sophomore year, Coach saw that I took the game a little more seriously. I, mean, I showed him that I matured a little bit, and he trusted me enough to put me on the court now. We want to get better every single year, but it takes a lot of hard work. It takes you uh, pushing yourself to do better and have to in order to, to be competitive in our, our business. 